watching 1900 in a 10 0 10 0 game unfortunately they're playing a 2100 they are 1999 so they're close to the 2000 mat but we're looking at the expected performance so what we have titled is they've got advanced knowledge of the concepts and principles of developing the pieces they use simple chess well but not excellently and they tend to miss the big picture of getting a quality attack or a checkmate so they really do understand simplified chess they don't do anything magical you might think that they play like computers but I've changed my thought processes on that after doing further research into the 1900 level generalization so taking a look at this 1900 and just getting into the game now let's see what we're looking at here those so simple things are potentially going castling oh it does arrows nice one I suppose you can predict the moves as well So looking for simplicity obviously bringing the bishop back here there's no other attacks on this area there's no other place for the bishop to go really so with this pawn push here it's kind of signifying that they're potentially looking to go on queenside castle might be a little bit slow So actually going and attacking a higher piece with the queen which gives the opponent something to think about simple chess again we want to look at the absolute brilliance of simple chess play and the bishop does come back eventually which we said it's not saying they're going to find the perfect things because they can get embroiled in being too simplified too defensive and you know really just locking everything down or blocking everything down and that's where they do miss those opportunities to get a checkmate or gain a good attacking position but they get to 1900 because they play nice simple chess in my generalized observations so the pawn's pushing further down further advancing the pawn but it's also blocking this bishop See the cleverness of that move because the bishop doesn't have anywhere to go, so they're going to lose the bishop. So the queen's coming out, maybe looking to attack here, but this bishop is protecting and the queen is protecting. Now they're looking to try and get some sort of check on the king, which may get their queen off the ball, but now they're blocking that. So simplified movements of the pieces, nothing extra. They are going to lose this bishop as they know which kind of the computer saying it's happy with that but you know in the human eyes you think oh man you're losing the piece how do you improve does have this rook still being able to put some pressure on here where's my arrows going for the exchange because he doesn't like the power base of the potential here it's the knight probably jumping maybe to put some pressure on the rook But the queen's move back doesn't want to exchange as we said people don't usually want to do that but he does have a discover check on a higher piece simple chess it's not doing anything that we're going to be shocked about it's pretty simple straightforward move the queen out of the way got an x-ray on the rook this rook still has a good power base towards here just doesn't have any support but i suppose if he gets these rook du rooks doubled up he can put pressure and the opponent's queen is doing all sorts of moves we're not covering the 2000 area because um, that's a different kettle of fish entirely and um, we're just covering the, up to the 1900s so I'm not going to explain anything about what this player is doing because really I just think that it's reckless play but let's have, have a look at the 1900 still has time to come here Maybe they're looking to get some sort of attack coming on, on the king side with the queen and stuff. But I think they do lose tempo. Gives them the time to move the rook back or move it across. Looking to double up. But that's kind of easily defended. But I suppose it's going to open up the king or rook attack. But the bishop is protecting here. So there's a lot of movements. 
They're using the answer to chess process, but it's not really solidified this attack. Rook's in the center of the board. As we know, it doesn't really have a place being there. Now, will, will the 1900 utilize the knowledge of the basics of chess? Or will they get carried away and try and start snapping pawns up? Looks like they're going for the defense, which is nice. It's a good touch. And what does black do? I'm not really going to go for the 2000 thinking because I do believe it's a bit of reckless, reckless play. It's not even 2000, 2100 they are. But as we can see, the 1900 using basic chess, no magic. We understand what moves they're making. Might not necessarily be our moves, but we understand what moves they're making. What's the benefits? So it's given up the rook for a particular reason, being, well, the queen's not going to take here. The bishop's, I mean, it, it's not going to come there. I don't really see the benefits of that. It's kind of reckless play, really. So the bishop's not taken. He's going for a higher piece, giving them something to think about. So they've got two pieces attacking with the bishop. So they can freely just take the rook off the board now. So this is absolutely reckless play by the 2100. And they're taking their time. Now, this might be getting a little bit too arty. I know the computer's saying they're out and out winning, but say, oh, let's take that gauge bar off. Damn, yeah, sorry. Take the gauge bar off. Now we can play more humanized. So the rook's still staying in that position here. Why is the bishop not taking the rook? I don't know. That's a simple way of playing the game. Getting a little bit too arty. Um, for myself and the knights moving in uh, it's getting too much I think personally even though there is, there is pressure here I mean now the knight's been taken off the board I'm not too sure what what happened there at all the advantage for me just taking that rook off the board get it out of the way I'm not too sure why the knight was there shall we see what the evaluation's just saying yeah, exactly look at that Mammoth mistakes, missing the big picture of quality attacks and checkmates. That's what happens with the 1900s generally. They're awesome playing basic chess, um, but putting it all together sometimes really does let them down. When they are on one, they're on one and they look really powerful and they look like they're like... Um, 2500 players type thing but when they're not on form or playing as a normal 1900 you will see these errors and mistakes and the key errors are as we've mentioned potentially overly simplifying their position to an extent as was shown in here whereby they're just not really taking the correct pieces off the board at the right time at the right moment their development to get to those positions is awesome but then taking advantage of their position sometimes really does let them down so definitely was no need for the bishop to stay he could have just taken that rook off the board quite easily Okay, and I think this rook is probably trying to do some sort of sly business like this here, and then the queen's going to be taken. Oh my god, they haven't taken that opportunity. Maybe because the queen was going to be coming here anyway. Maybe. So now they're doing like defense nanny work type thing. They're looking to put the pressure on here, looking to get this rook up. I think this rook should be going up here now, shouldn't it? You would have thought. That would have been a simple way of just keeping that pressure on. Because the pawn can't take because the rook's got the x-ray through and it's like 
piling up the pressure on here. But as we've seen, missing the opportunities, missing that big picture, the strategical type of thinking is a little bit lacking in terms of being able to kind of finish the game. They look awesome getting towards that stage. They're losing a lot of tempe. I don't understand why that's not happened because now the bishop's just going to be coming here and hitting the queen. So they're going to lose that advantage again. It's only what I'm seeing. I don't know if it's right or not, but the general feel I'm getting from this game. So they're working really hard to um, end up doing nothing. So they've given the opponent all the opportunities back whilst they're trying to scrabble, scrabble together a type of good position. I think potentially it's kind of too late for them. Yeah, so they're just removing pieces from the board now, which they could have done earlier. They would have been in a better position going for the trade down. They've got more material on the board. Um, struggling to see how they're going to they've got two minor pieces up now so this is kind of resignable really so that's the case of the 1900s the traits that we expect to see the expected rating performance of 1900s in general terms they're coming back on again all right so it's the same player 1900 playing the same player the 2100 oh. Okay, so again, we're looking at them understanding the basics of the openings, playing simple chess, but we're trying to make them, we want them to start seeing the big picture towards actually achieving good attacking positions or even a checkmate position. Not oversimplifying and not being too arty and not being too proud to capture pieces at the appropriate moments. Those are the things that let them down really. Not, not really taking those appropriate actions to make the bigger picture a quality attack and get in the checkmate positions. As we can see, the opening is, is really nice. You know, they know how to do that. They know how to block off pieces. And, but positionally, is this the best state for them? They need to get ready to get castled, basic chess. Uh, but they're actually attacking now and their bed is not sorted at the minute. So they may lose tempo on that. Again, they could have taken this pawn here just to get that pawn out and get the queen off. And nice simplify the knights then attacking the bishop. But obviously he's got a check through so they couldn't do that. Fair enough. I've worked that through. Now he's got pressures. But the queen can come here. Pawn can take the bishop. But obviously the pawn is going to take the queen. So where does the queen go? Probably drops back here, but maybe it should keep this diagonal just in case it gets freed up. And the king gets castled. But does the opponent give them the time to get castled? So basic chess is eluding them now. And now it's a little bit tight. We can take with the pawn. It's on the bishop. Bishop moves. Gonna have need some time to get castled. I can feel the panic going already. So defense nanny, simple chess, not explosive enough in terms of developing the big picture and getting quality attacks or even a checkmate or even putting pressure towards the king or the king area and maintaining that pressure because they're so busy thinking about the simple defenses, the simple attacks and then getting a little bit too arty with the movements when they do have that opportunity. So that is the difference. And once they start breaking away from realizing that, oh, I can actually just take this off the board and my position is still going to be good. That's when they start jumping up into the 2000 type things and start really realizing that hmm, simplifying this game is actually a benefit rather than trying to keep tension where you don't need to keep the tension or attacking a piece just because it is a higher piece. Does it necessarily mean you're improving your position? And this particular 1900 is proving that case in that just that because you're attacking a higher piece does not mean you're going to be better off. So there's swings and roundabouts to attacking a higher piece. So 
but now it's opening up space in front of his king so is he going to bother castling at all now in any way shape i think they're probably going to risk it for a biscuit because the bishops are protecting the area from the queen at the minute oh they've gone for a virtual with the bishop reigning in on the on the king and there's a lot of pressure coming from the queen but the bishop is protecting the pawn at the minute yeah, and i don't really like this um 2100's playing style per se, I still think they're a bit reckless It's the opponent that's allowing them to get away with the reckless play at the minute uh, So I'm consistent with that until they show otherwise obviously So they've grabbed a pawn, the que greedy munching queen's grabbed a pawn What can we see? Not that one, maybe this one attacking the queen And maybe he's looking to get the queen off the board attacking here, simple chess and they've given up their rook for some special reason which means that they potentially are going to get mated in a few moves but if that takes then what does the queen do the queen comes here puts a check on bishop comes and defends and he has come there as well so what do they have Bishop can't go here anymore because he has to come and protect the king or the king could move no maybe down here yeah so there's no battery here they must have put some thought into this maneuver what's the bishop doing is it sacrificing again so sacrificing the rooks reckless play and that's why again when you're playing like these 2000 pluses you'll see a lot of that but i'm not covering the 2000s at all i'm just covering up to the 1900s okay he's trying to get opposite the king but there's nothing else supporting anything at all so he's probably thinking oh i've got this um bishop for free but that's probably going to cause them a bit of a problem they may be trying to just come here with this but i'm again that's easily defended got a two on one here so that would be like a potential mate if he goes here so one of the rooks probably coming to defend the bishop and then the knight puts some sort of crazy fork on somewhere here no because the rook won't be there This position is not a position you would have put yourself into really probably should have been maybe just working the pieces a little bit more tightly to get what is that Look at this, it's going to be ouch, ouch, ouch all the way. King's in the middle of the board. Do you think it's going to survive? It's not surviving. Wherever it's going, it's getting hit. 